everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's a bit of a different one. It's not a sit down video, but it's not a vlog at the same time. Um, I'm going to be showing you a collection of my pop vinyls that I have at the moment. The collection is continuously growing, but I will show you what I have collected thus far. Okay, so this is my collection at the moment. I have Harry Potter ones, Friends, Minions, Random ones, Inside Out and Disney. So I'm just going to go through each individual one and show you what I have. So the first collection is Harry Potter and I have Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, Albus Dumbledore from uh, like original clothing, Severus Snape, uh, Lord Voldemort, Harry Potter in his... Quidditch World Cup outfit, um, a large Rivius Hagrid, and he actually has the umbrella that he has in the first one, which is his wand. Um, and then I have Harry Potter with the Godric Gryffindor sword, if you can see that. And then I have Triwizard, um, Triwizard Tournament Harry Potter. I then have Hermione Granger from the Triwizard Bowl, Ron Weasley from the Triwizard Bowl, Draco Malfoy in his like original clothing. Luna Lovegood, Albus Dumbledore from Triwizard Tournament, that's his Triwizard Cup cloak. Sirius Black, Dobby in his uh, homeless cloak, but he's actually got the sock in his hand because he's a free elf. Um, then I have a Dementor, which you can't really see, uh, sorry, because of the sun, but he's actually popped out of his um, hold at the moment, and he lo his looks really cool. And then I have the Sorting Hat. That's what it's called, but it's actually got Harry Potter written on there. And then lastly for Harry Potter, I have Neville Longbottom. I am also waiting on... I have three of the train cartridges, like carts, on pre-order. And then I have to order uh, two more from popculture.com. My next set is Inside Out, the Disney film. First one is Joy. I then have a mini pop of her and also a keychain and a small um, figurine. Same with Sadness. I have a keychain and two small erasers. Um, the large pop was the first pop I ever bought. Then I have the Disgust pop and a mini pop. Then I have the uh, Fear pop vinyl, which you can't really see that well. Uh, there he is. And then you have the Anger pop vinyl. Um, with two anger erasers and then I have the bing bong pop vinyl with a bing bong figurine I do not have the box for this one, but it is nebula from guardians of the galaxy My boyfriend has their whole collection and also a mini nebula um, In the mini pop collection boxes. Uh, she's also a bobblehead if you did not know that My next collection is then friends the series the mo uh, the film series First one is Rachel Green in her waitressing outfit. She does have a apron on and a coffee cup with her in the original hairstyle. The next one is Ross Geller and he does have Marcel the monkey with him. I do not know which she, um, season that is from but that is him. The next one is Monica Geller in her chef outfit. This is obviously from the later series where she owns her own restaurant. The next one is Chandler Bing holding the... Uh, chick, I think it is, from when Joey and him live together. They have a chick and a duck, and Joey Tribbiani is holding the duck. The final one is Phoebe Buffay. Funny enough, I love her because that is my name, and she's holding the guitar with her shorter hair, which I don't know if that's intended to be short or that is the long, as as long as the hair could go. But she did that. Um, what am I saying, Lisa? did actually have short hair for a lot of the filming so they did have to have a wig on her for most of it but that is her original hair length. The next ones I have are Christmas themed, just ignore the My Little Pony one for now. The first one is Buddy the Elf from Elf the Movie. Um, he is in his elf costume when he first meets his father or when he first discovers he is an elf. The next one is Cousin Eddie from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with his cigar in his mouth, his bathrobe, his beanie and a stubby. The final Christmas one is Clark Griswold from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with eggnog in his moose mug and his Christmas outfit on. This is from Christmas Day when he is talking to Cousin Eddie um, about pushing him into the middle of the road. The final one on this shelf is My Little Pony Dr. Hooves. I do not know if I'm going to collect this set yet. Um, I was in Melbourne recently and you use tickets to buy things on the shelf, similar to most uh, 
intensities or zone threes, similar thing like that. Um, I won this with 1,200 tickets, I think. Um, so I don't know how much it actually would have cost me, um, but I have seen them on the shelves and they are $20 as a regular retail price. The first one I have on here is a Disney one. I did not know that I did this in I didn't do this intentionally, but it is a pocket pop keychain and it is Baymax from Big Hero 6. I am going to collect this whole set and put it on a, another Disney shelf because I love Big Hero 6 so much. I just think it's an adorable film and he is in his original white state with no um hard costume on, which you can buy in uh, the large 6-inch form. The first set I have on here is Beauty and the Beast, and this is the Beast in his ball outfit. Um, you can get Belle in the ball outfit. I do not have her, um, as she is over $200 because she was retired very early. Um, but that is the only Beast that you can get. You can't get a, you can't get one with the red cloak on. The next one I have is Peasant Belle from the first scene in the film where she is at the bookstore or and she's at the bakery and she has the little basket on her from when she's buying all her things at the market in her blue and white dress. She does have a small plate at the back as well. The next one is Cogsworth the Clock. Um, he doesn't have a mouth on, well he does have a mouth in the film but he does have his arms on his waist in the pop vinyl figurine as he is cross a lot. Um, the pop vinyls represent a lot of their personalities which is, I think is really cool and clever. Uh, the next one is Mrs. Potts and Chip. Chip does have a small cut in him, but that is what he looks like in the film. Um, the artwork on this is really great. I would take it out of the box, but it would take a lot of time, as they are very delicate. The final one on this row for Beauty and the Beast is Lumiere. He is a candlestick, and I think that this is a smile because he is a very happy... Um, candlestick if you will um him and cogsworth are sidekicks if like you would say and he's one of the main characters along with the rest that i have purchased i do not know if there are more that you can buy uh, but if there was i would be collecting them for sure the next row is another disney set and there's only three in this one and this is the film bambi um it does just say disney at the top but it is it is the bambi film um, the first one I have is Bambi sitting in his original state. Um, he, they are adorable, adorable pop vinyls. I love them so much and they are really well structured and have really good artwork as well. The next one is Thumper. I have purchased this one as it is the set, but I have purchased the set as this is mine and my boyfriend's um, thing, if you will. I'm, I'm Flower and he's Thumper. Um, it's a long story. If you want to know about it, like this one like this video um, and the final one is flower and I just think it's adorable she's so cute and she's got a little flower in her hand and she's smiling and she's the most adorable little skunk I have ever met the one, first one and only one for this set is Finding Nemo it is from the Nemo collection I do not have the other ones I have never actually seen them I've only seen uh, Squirt or Crush I'm not sure what one it is but I am planning on collecting them all. I do not know where to get them from. But when the Finding Dory Pops come out, I'm sure they will come back out as well. The next ones I have are both Olaf's. This one is from the 2013 uh, Comic-Con exclusive. This was the first pop I bought in Queensland when I was not collecting pop vinyls. Um, he was about $13. I do not have the box as I came from the mainland. So I had to catch a plane and the box did not fit into my suitcase and pop vinyls were not a priority for me a year and a half ago or whatever but that is when I bought this one and he does glow in the dark as he is the 2013 exclusive this one is also an exclusive I do not have the frozen set I don't think I will ever purchase it because there are so many um, but this one is when he's singing in summer and it does have the small bird with a cane as well and he has a hat and a cane as well when he is singing um, that is all the Frozen ones I have. I do not think I will buy the set. Just as I said, there are too many of them and too many alternatives for each. Um, but they are a beautiful set and if you do have them, you are very, very lucky because there are a lot. The final collection I have are my Minions. I have not completed this set. I still have four or five to get in um, Despicable Me and Despicable Me 2 and one more to get in Minions. And I do have small figurines of all the Minions. The first one I have is the Fire Alarm Minion. This is from Despicable Me. There is one more on the back of this box I need to collect. And then there are a few more 
in Despicable Me 2 collection that I need to, like, I need to start that set. I would love to have the whole collection, though, as they are adorable, and I feel like they will be worth a fair bit in a couple of years. But to moving on to this set, this is the Minions movie um, collection pop vinyls. Um, so I'm just going to go through them, and that will be it. The first one is Bored Silly Kevin. Um, he is holding the fish from when they are cavemen, not cavemen. Oh, when are they from? It's the... Um, I'm going to say Eskimo time, because um, I can't think of when they are from. And I do have a mini figurine to match him. The next one is All Natural Minion with the green leaf just covering his private parts, because he does have so many. Um, but that is what he is from, with a leafy green tie around his eye cover. The next one is King Bob. Um, this is when he is King Bob, the scene where he is in charge of the the land because he finds the crown because he's doing a task for someone else to get the queen's crown but he does end up becoming the king himself i do have a mini figurine of the lookalike to king bob and i also have a mini figurine which does not look like king bob but it is what is intended to be the next one i have is crow minion um he does have a bat with him um and he has the wood texturing around the eyes I also have a small figurine of him with the bat and the bone in his hair with a little wood texturing around and the, he's on the wood plank. He's not on a wood plank in the uh, pop vinyl box. The final one I have from this Minions movie collection is I, Matey. Um, he does have the sword. This is when he they are in the pirate decade. And I do, in fact, have a small figurine for Minions um, in the I, Matey pop vinyl. I am yet to collect the Gone Batty pop vinyl and then I have a few figurines which do not match any of the pop vinyls and then I have a broken pop vinyl but let's just not look at that because that is sad. So these are all my pop vinyls. My collection is still growing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did let me know. If you liked it let me know and I will definitely do an updated one in a couple of months or so when I have bought some more. Um, but in the meantime, give this video a like, please subscribe to my channel as I make new videos once a fortnight, um, as I'm not too big on the YouTube at the moment. Um, but comment down below if you would like a review on any in particular. I will go out and buy them myself um, to review for you. But yes, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!